Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carter, and in this video, I wanna talk about losing fat, building muscle, and if it's possible to do both of those things at the same time. Now, before we get too far into whether or not it's possible to do this, I think it's extremely important to first sit down and sort of analyze what your goals really are. So in this example specifically, if you're wanting to optimize your muscle building potential, then you're not gonna wanna be focused on losing fat. You know, the more goals or the more, um, you know, things that you're trying to achieve at once, the less optimal each of those things is gonna be. So in this example, you know, if you're trying to lose fat and build muscle at the same time, then naturally you're going to have um, less potential with building muscle. So if your primary goal is building muscle, then I would recommend not trying to lose fat at the same time. I would recommend you know, trying to get into a 200 to 300 calorie surplus each day, um, gaining roughly one to two pounds a month, and really focusing on building strength in the gym each week and getting stronger over time. Now for somebody whose main goal is to lose body fat, but you know they're also wanting to build some muscle or at least maintain the muscle they already have, then losing fat and building muscle is absolutely something that's possible. And you know, I've seen it time and time and time again with the clients I've worked with and even myself. Whenever I was first losing weight, I started at you know 305 plus pounds. And through that process, I lost you know 100 or so pounds of fat, probably more, and I gained a lot of muscle. If you see my before and after picture, you'll see that I started weightlifting fairly early on into my weight loss journey. And because of it, I gained muscle throughout that entire process. So it's absolutely 100% possible to do both at the same time. Now, setting up a plan that has you losing fat and building muscle is actually quite simple, and it's fairly similar, similar to any other weight loss plan that you would follow, um, but there's just a few key differences. In terms of diet, you still wanna focus on being in a calorie deficit, only this time, you probably don't wanna be as aggressive as you would be if you were trying to lose as much you know, body weight as possible. What I usually recommend is roughly 20 to 25% below your maintenance. And so if you need help figuring that out, I'm gonna link an article below this video, which is gonna go over how to find that range for a calorie deficit. The next thing you wanna get right with your diet is to ensure that you're eating enough protein every day. And for most people, if they're eating 0.7 to one gram of protein per pound of goal body weight, then they're doing really well. So for example, say you weigh 180 pounds right now and you wanna weigh 150 pounds. Um, you know, maybe, maybe you don't wanna weigh exactly that. That's just like a rough guess. It doesn't have to be perfect. So let's just say 150 pounds. That person wants to aim for roughly 120 to 150 grams of protein each day. And if they're able to hit that consistently while eating in a moderate calorie deficit, then their diet's gonna be pretty well optimized for losing fat and building muscle. Now comes the training, and this is by far gonna be the most important part of getting this thing right. You know, a lot of people go into the gym and the first thing they do is head for the cardio machines. They get on the elliptical, they get on the treadmill, on the stair stepper, and their sole focus is to burn calories. But when your goal is to lose fat and build muscle, then you need to get out of the calorie burning mindset. Yes, it's important to burn calories and maintain a higher metabolism and, and stay active throughout the day, but when you're in the gym, your sole focus is now gonna be on lifting weights. Specifically, you wanna be maintaining as much strength as possible. Because when you're in the gym and you're maintaining strength as you're losing body weight, then that's a good sign that you're also maintaining muscle mass or even building muscle mass. So if you're able to get those three things right, you are eating in a moderate calorie deficit, which is roughly 20 to 25% below your maintenance. You're eating around 0.7 to one gram of protein per pound of goal body weight. And you're also focused on strength training in the gym, ideally three to four times per week, then you've really set yourself up for a really good possibility of being able to maintain muscle and hopefully build some muscle as you're losing body fat. Now the important thing to note here is that you probably won't lose as much body weight as you would if you were to crash diet and, and do as much cardio as possible. And the reason is because when you're building muscle or when you are working out and, and trying to maintain muscle, you're not losing that muscle and because muscle has weight on the scale, you know, if that's a part of your body weight, you're maintaining it so the scale's not gonna drop as quickly. When you're going through this process of losing fat and building muscle, what's really gonna be important to pay attention to are your waist measurement, um, your hip measurement. If you're a guy, you really wanna pay attention to your shoulder and chest measurements because those measurements, along with 
your progress pictures, and your body weight. That should be a part of it too. Just remember that your body weight isn't everything. It's just one tool in your toolbox of analyzing progress. But whenever you're looking at all of those things together, that's when you're really going to optimize um, how you are you know, analyzing your progress and, and making sure that you are doing everything you can to lose as much fat as possible and maintain and hopefully you know, build some muscle throughout this process. So I hope that this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, like always, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want more help with setting up a diet and exercise plan that's going to help you do this, I highly recommend signing up for my free 14-day Fat Loss Forever course. The link to that's gonna be in the description below. But basically, over the course of 14 days, you're gonna go through 14 emails that are gonna be educational, um, but also going to be applicable. Like, I'm not just gonna give you that information. I'm gonna tell you how you can use that information to apply it to your life and your weight loss plan. And so if you're interested in signing up, then definitely click that link below and you'll be instantly enrolled and get your first email within like five to 10 minutes of signing up. So that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.